Principles of the Forex Beginner Strategy In this video you will learn principles and ideas behind the Forex trading beginner strategy, what fractals are and how they're formed, what pivot points are and why they work, why using multiple time frame analysis will benefit your profitability. As with other skill sets you learn in life, you learn through experience. Forex trading is no different. The Forex beginner strategy teaches you the basics of reading price charts and is a great entry point into how to trade. At Trademo, we have taught you what to look for on a chart and what action to take when trading the beginner strategy. However, we have not gone into why you should use certain indicators or take certain steps when looking for a trade setup. In this video, we will explain the principles and ideas behind the Forex beginner strategy to give you an in-depth understanding of how it all works. The first indicator, and one we use very often in the beginner strategy, is the fractal. This is a simple triangle-shaped indicator that signals a potential market reversal. A fractal is made up of five candles and appears on your chart after a certain type of price action has occurred in the market, indicating that a reversal is likely. There are two types of fractals, an up fractal and a down fractal. Let us first look at the formation of an up fractal and what needs to happen for one to form. Looking at the example, you can see the two candles where price made two highs. This is caused by the buyers or bulls making two attempts at pushing prices up. On the third candle, the bulls made a bigger attempt to push price up again, making a higher high. On the fourth and fifth candle, notice that the bulls have been overpowered by the bears and were unable to take out the third candle's high. This pattern is common and signals that the sellers are in control and so it is likely that the price will reverse to the downside. When it forms, your trading software will plot a fractal above the highest high. Let us now look at the formation of a down fractal, which is the inverse of the up fractal. You can see the two candles where price made two lows. This is caused by the sellers or bears making two attempts at pushing prices down. On the third candle, the bears made a bigger attempt to push price down again, making a lower low. On the fourth and fifth candle, Notice that the bears have been overpowered by the bulls and were unable to take out the third candle's low. This signals that the buyers are in control and so it is likely that the price will reverse to the upside. When it forms, your trading software will plot a fractal below the lowest low. It is important to take caution when trading on some platforms, such as MetaTrader 4, as the fractal indicator will be plotted on the chart after the fourth candle of the pattern has completed. It does not wait for the fifth and final candle to close first, but rather alerts you to the fact the pattern is potentially forming. However, because the pattern is not complete, you will need to be patient and wait for the last candle to close to make sure that the fractal does not disappear. Looking at the example of a down fractal, when it completes, it potentially means that a reversal could happen, meaning that the bears have attempted to drive price down, but the bulls have been strong enough to keep price up. Due to this, many traders take on new long positions. This is logical, because price behavior has shown that a reversal to the upside is likely. Once those traders have placed new buy orders, they will place stop loss orders to protect themselves in the event that the market does not move in their direction. A logical place for a stop loss order would be below the fractal and the lows of the candles. It is important to note that when you enter a long position in the market and place a stop loss, your stop loss is actually a sell order. It closes your position by selling the asset that you bought. So if price broke lower, triggering the stop losses, price would move considerably lower because it is under further selling pressure and so price is likely to fall. We wait for the fractal to be broken because the fractal itself provides a strong signal that the market may reverse. But a broken fractal gives an even stronger signal that the market will continue. This is why we use broken fractals to determine the market direction and to enter into the market. The second indicator we use in the beginner strategy are daily pivot points. These are levels that have been calculated from the previous day's price action. They are used by many traders, including banks and financial institutions, to enter and exit the forex markets. 
There are different mathematical calculations to work out the pivot points, but the basic calculation uses the previous day's highest price, lowest price and closing price in the calculation. This gives you an average of the most significant prices from the previous trading day. This average price or level is called the main pivot or daily pivot. If price is trading above this level, it would be considered that there are more bulls in the market. Conversely, if price is trading below this level, it would be considered that there are more bears in the market. This main pivot is the point at which the market pivots around, hence where the name comes from. If price reaches the pivot point from below, bears are likely to push price down, and when price reaches it from above, bulls are likely to come in and push the price back up. Note that sellers and buyers can push price above and below the daily pivot point respectively. However, it generally acts as a floor or a ceiling at which price is likely to stop once the price has reached it. The other pivot points are R1, R2, R3, and S1, S2, and S3, and the mid pivots labeled as M1, M2, etc. All pivots are calculated using the daily pivot. When the price reaches these pivot points, traders are likely to sell if the price has reached it from below or buy if the price has reached it from above. Looking at an uptrend, price is likely to react around the pivot point levels because traders are selling or closing their buy positions. In this example, the main pivot point acts as support stopping price from moving any lower. When the price continues up to the next pivot level, M3, notice how the price seems to stop and struggles to move higher. This shows that for a period of time, the bears were entering the market at this level. When the price eventually breaks up again and continues on to the next pivot point, R1, price stalls once again as buyers close their positions and sellers open new positions. As a trader, if you know that the majority of traders are using pivot points to decide on where to enter or exit positions, then you know that the price is more likely to not go any further when the pivot point is reached. You also know that traders are more likely to wait until price reaches that price level before they place a trade. For these reasons, pivot points make very good profit targets. The Forex beginner strategy uses the principle of multiple time frame analysis due to the benefits of reducing risk and maximizing probability when trading. As a trader, understanding what the bigger picture is doing can help you make accurate decisions when looking for trading opportunities on the lower time frames. If there is a trend on a higher time frame, trading in the direction of that trend on the lower time frame will likely produce higher probability trades in the long term. That is the same principle behind using multiple time frame analysis when trading the beginner strategy. When you analyze the 30 minute time frame, you are analyzing the larger picture observing price action over a few days. However, it is not always easy to decide which way the market is moving, which is why we have simplified things and use fractals. These give a very clear indication of which way price is moving when the fractal is broken. Looking at the first chart, you can see that the 30-minute trend is up, confirmed by the broken up fractal. If we now zoom down to the 5-minute chart, known as the smaller time frame, we can look for more precise entries in alignment with the larger trend. Remember, trades taken in alignment with the larger picture have a higher probability of working out. When moving down to the 5-minute time frame, you will notice that the chart covers far less data than you would find on the 30-minute time frame. You will also notice that the candles normally move less in pip value on the 5-minute chart than they do on a 30-minute chart. When trading the beginner strategy, Following the rules of stop placement, you place your stop loss at the tip of the 5 minute up fractal in a short trade. Because the candles on a 5 minute chart will be smaller in comparison to the 30 minute chart, the stop loss on a 5 minute chart will be closer to the entry than it would be if you entered using the 30 minute chart alone and placed the stop loss on the 30 minute chart. As such, you have reduced the risk of entry on the lower time frame. However, you are trading in the direction of the overall market trend and so you have combined the benefits that both time frames offer. So far, you have learned that we wait for a fractal to be broken because a fractal provides a strong signal that the market may reverse. This is why we use broken fractals to determine the market direction and to enter into the market.
pivot points are calculated using the previous day's price action and are used by many traders, including banks and financial institutions, to enter and exit the forex markets. If you know that the majority of traders are using pivot points to decide on where to enter or exit positions, then you know that price is more likely to not go any further when the pivot point is reached. Using multiple time frame analysis helps reduce risk and maximize probability when trading. Following the trend on a higher time frame, trading in the direction of that trend on the lower time frame will likely produce higher probability trades in the long term. A stop loss on a 5-minute chart will be closer to the entry than it would be if you entered using the 30-minute chart alone, allowing you to reduce your stop size.